Alrighty, guys, good morning. Madman Mandela coming at you live from the Garden Hill Garage here in beautiful Alabama once again. Uh, first and foremost, I want to wish all the fathers a uh, happy Father's Day out there, okay? Um, you know, you don't have to be a sperm donor to be a father, and it takes a very special person to be a father to other people's kids. And, uh, you know, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart and just wish you all a happy Father's Day, as I said. Yeah, and also wish my dad a happy Father's Day up in heaven. I miss him dearly. Um, so, anyway, all right. What we got here, okay, is we have a uh, Halo 4 console, okay, now. <laughs> okay, Joshua Arnold. Now, Joshua, uh, he purchased this console off the website from us, and um, he's a good guy. Uh, he's purchased multiple consoles from me, all right? So, uh, when he said he wanted a Halo 4 Special Edition, I was like, okay, no problem. I can get them all day long. Well, the trick is, though, is that he wanted... Uh, RGBs. <laughs> so, I didn't want to butcher this damn thing right, because it's just too nice of a console to butcher. So, anyway, we went ahead and what I did was I figured out, you know, that I should do it uh, as stock appearing as possible, but some modifications. All right, now, Josh, I'm going to send you this panel too, all right, with the console because that goes with the console and also send you the original shroud as well. All right, because I didn't, um, you know, I didn't use them, okay? Uh, and what we did was is we put in programmable, addressable LEDs in it, all right? Now, it's up on Alliance servers, um, and, uh, you know, it, it's got all the mods on it, including college football revamped and all that kind of good stuff, version 11.2. They didn't drop uh, V12 yet for the uh, 360 yet, okay? They're still working on it. It's going to be It's going to be a little delayed, but no big deal, you know, but it will come out. So anyway, uh, Josh, he has my consoles before, so I'm going to forego the guide and everything, uh, how, to, how to set it up. He knows how to do all that. I don't have to deal with that. Thank God. All right. Now, this one here has a Matrix chip in it. All right. And uh, myself and Josh Davidson. Okay. Now, now Josh, Josh Davidson, if you don't know who he is, he's a good guy. Um, he's Octal, uh, 423 Octal consoles. And he's a real good guy. And him and I, we do a lot of testing together. Uh, and the reason being is is because I have a lot of consoles that come in here and he knows this as well And he's also a good friend of mine and um, you know, he does a lot of modified timing files where you know uh, 15432 actually uh, back in 2014. He's the one that came up with the RGH 1.2 He's the one who came up with the uh, muffin timing files He's the one that came up with the you know the modified timing files that give us the boot times that we have today All right. Well you know, I mean, unfortunately, Alexi, you know, has a real job now. You know, he was in college when he was doing this, and he has a real job. And he's been a good friend of mine for a long time. And myself and Degenix and, um, you know, Mozzi and uh, Siegfried uh, Gomez and uh, Nigel Atkins, uh, all of us, we were all testing with him and everything, you know, do doing the thing. And, uh, you know, and uh, what happened was is Alexi, of course, got a real job. And, uh, you know, he, he, you know, he ran out of time. Um, you know, working on this stuff. And Josh took up the took up the torch, and he's been doing some really, really crazy stuff with this thing. So him and I, we go back and forth. Well, I wire it this way. Well, I'm doing it this way. Check this out. And we're trying to see, you know, what is going to give us the best boot times with these things and everything else, you know. And, I mean, that's what we do. And, uh, you know, and you got to see our Discord, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, we have a lot of fun doing it, you know, and I, I have a lot of fun doing it. And, um, you know, we're trying to get the best boot times, multiple, uh, you know, startups, you know, where, where it boots within one to three cycles no matter what. You know, just like the Ace chip, okay? So, you know, and he does a lot of stuff with timing files. So, hats off to you, Josh, for what you're doing, okay? I really do appreciate you. It's nice to see the stuff that you're doing. Also, that Xenon was something else, man. I, I'm like, I'm like totally impressed with that. That was really cool. So, you know, all good. Anyway, okay. So, anyway, we went ahead and we modded this thing. Okay, we got it all done. All right, now I'm going to turn off the light for effect. And what I did was, is I did this. Okay, now, right, as you can see, um, this thing is a lighting, like, wonder. Okay, and, uh... As you can see here, we've got um, we've got this thing, yeah, and it boots really fast, okay? It's got one of Josh's timing files on it, one of the test files that actually works really, really well. So, you know, I mean, it, it, this, one, it, this one flies. And this is a Corona, by the way, okay? And um, this one here, of course, is wind bond memory, all right, which is not really too much fun if you know what wind bond memory is, okay? So, anyway, 
as you can see, it's up. It's good. You know, you're all good, Josh. You ain't got nothing to worry about there. It's Josh and Josh here. So anyway, uh, you know, we did all this, okay? And then I put a clear top DVD drive in it and everything, all right? Um, you know, and it does all kinds of crazy things. You got a remote here. It does 300, 300 modes of operation, okay? And you also can do solid colors as well. I, uh, I put the LEDs in them. Uh, we put two just uh, uh you see these two here they're mounted in the dvd drive actually okay you know um because you know this is all faded out with, the, with with paint so you can't see leds back here so the best thing i could do was actually mount them in the dvd drive and then uh you know i put a clear uh vent uh, vent case on it all right and then wrapped it of course and then we did some leds down over here to give it a cute little effect you know whatever and uh pretty much she's all good to go now also, you can press this here, all right, and then, of course, we can stick the DVD drive in, and it doesn't grind or anything, because I wouldn't send something like that out, and as you can see, she spins up real good, and everything works right, and you can actually see the drive in there, you know, as the console's going through all of its friggin' epileptic fits and every friggin' thing else under the sun, okay, and, of course, you know, it reads the title, and everything is all good, it all works, okay, so we're gonna go ahead I'm going to eject this out of here. Yes, even the DC motor brake works. Look at that. So anyway, really, really decent, decent console. I was very lucky to get this, um, you know, and like I said, I don't want to, I didn't want to hack it to pieces. So anyway, she's all good to go. All right. And like I said, you got a, you got a remote with multiple, uh, multiple settings on it. So you can have a blast with that. All right. We'll just go through the norm here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to set this up here. Now, let me grab a controller here. Oh yeah. One other thing too. Um, I kept the blue LEDs around the, around the ROL, you know, but I did put in a seven color changing fading center or, uh, LED to match the, uh, lighting effects on the damn thing. So, you know, anyway, morning, Mike, how are you, man? Good to see you, brother. Um, so anyway, okay. Now I'll tell you what we're going to do here. Okay. Let me see here now. Hang on here. Oh, it didn't. Yeah, it did that. You dang it, you little son of a motherless little goat. I hate that when when, when Aurora crashes like that. That just makes me crazy. Um, <laughs> let me go ahead. Let me re let, let me reset this thing here. Okay. But anyway, uh, like I said, I went through this Josh for you, and I mean the console. It runs it runs really good. As you can see, it insta boots. You, you know, no problems. Like I said not bad for a uh, Matrix. With the modified SMC Plus timing files on it and, um, you know, his speed up with the way he did it. He, 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 did, he did a clock doubling and, and the thing is, is like nutty as a fruitcake. It boots really, really, really well. Okay, so anyway, let's get into Aurora here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this here with you. Just show you what you got. All right. Now, okay. So, now we're set up. Okay, now, mind you, let's see here. Xbox 360 games, okay, so on and so forth. You know, you got your full complement, of course. You know, your gear series. Yes, modified, NCA Football 14. You got all that, okay. And then, of course, the dashboard. Your typical, uh, you know, Xbox Live Arcade. And then we have our homebrew section, okay, where your tools reside. You know, and a couple classic games on here for you. Some indie games. Some emulators, okay, as you can see. All right, uh, you know. Kind of my favorite section, actually. And then back to show all. No big deal. Uh, system is up on Alliance servers. Like I said, we'll go ahead. We'll go to the original dashboard here just to show you. All right. And everything should work just fine. There you are. Okay, you're up. You're online. You're live. Okay, hitting the guide button. And, of course, you got your, you got your off hosts. Okay. So we'll bring this back to Aurora now. All right. And uh, pretty much... Uh, it's all good to go. It all plays, you know, perfectly. And like I said, you have one of my consoles already. Well, actually a couple. So you know how to set this thing up. I don't have to go through that, okay? But uh, Josh, I just wanted you to uh, see your console. Like I said, you know, and I hope that you like it. All right, you know, we did. We, it was kind of, it was kind of eerie trying not to butcher the damn thing. Okay, so anyway, it's not butchered. All right, so we're gonna be shipping it off to you tomorrow. All right. And I want to thank you so, so much for your business. And guys, listen, thanks for watching, okay? I really do appreciate it, you know? And like I said, I hope that you like it, man. Um, I'll also send you the original uh, DVD drive cover. Um, got it right here. Now, this is a 16.5 DS, so, you know, I'm going to send that to you, too. So, in that way, then, you can have all the original parts that were in this as well, 
All right, because, I mean, I've seen what these things are going, these special editions are going for, you know, and I mean, and it's kind of nutty. I mean, I, I don't get it, but, you know, it is what it is. Now, uh, one other thing I do want to mention, okay, is um, a buddy of mine uh, sent me a plug-in, okay? Now, this plug-in was never released to the public, okay? Now, it's something that is, uh, that was made by uh, a person, and I'm going to, do a live stream on it okay however though i am not going to go ahead and it is not going to be released out of respect for the people who wrote this plugin okay but it's going to be something that is quite interesting that will raise a lot of eyes and hopefully maybe one day it will go open source which i really do hope so uh they've been talking about making aurora open source which would be really cool um and it would be really nice to be able to see this plugin actually um actually work in which it does with aurora so i'm gonna be showing that a little later on okay i'm also going to be showing the uh the college football revamped uh thing and the hard drive that's going to come with it and all that kind of good stuff uh which is going to be the free giveaway okay which uh you know you guys are going to be able to enter and you guys are going to be able to win it again the only thing you have to do is pay shipping on it and it's a full full custom console it's going to have a wireless adapter on it and I haven't figured out what size hard drive I'm going to use on it yet. But it's not going to be a small one, I'll tell you that right now. Okay, because I want you to have a good experience with this thing and enjoy it. Okay, so, you know, anyway, from there, listen, guys, I hope that you have a great day. Be safe, be careful, all right? Have a great Father's Day. Enjoy your day. You guys deserve it. Okay, and listen, for the wives that um, go ahead and, you know, for Father's Day, they always go to like Home Depot or or freaking um, Lowe's or whatever, and they pick up tools. Happy Father's Day. Now, listen, I want you to go do this for the yard. I want you to go. That is not a Father's Day gift, okay? That is a work gift, okay? <laughs> Let's face it. Be real, okay? Why don't you get get your husband some chocolates or maybe maybe may, maybe some you know maybe some goodies or something like that, okay? How about a how about a negligee? All right, okay? Maybe some thigh highs. Something, some, something to say, hey, happy Father's Day, okay? You know, I mean, here I am. Come get it, baby. No, instead you buy me a fucking power drill. What the fuck am I going to do with that? All right? Anyway, listen, y'all have a good one, guys. I'm going to holler at you later, okay? Take it easy. Have a great day. See you all later.